And we're live. <laughs> hey, I this can't ever get me on here doing something stupid. This is a special edition mm -hmm. of a Chuck and Toots YouTube video. Or just a video, a, 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 right? A video. Well, YouTube. And there has Chuck been Toots, there has been discussion of vacuum sealers amongst the people. In I'm sorry, tootsies. this is my... One of Tootsies. In some of Tootsies groups. Groups. I'm sorry, that's just my paper towels I'm going to use. <laughs> and this is my natty daddy because I'm not afraid to drink a 87 cent beer. Well, 87 times two. <laughs> so, I have a couple oh. prep, prep pieces of food here we're going to do. This is the little food saver that you buy at the Wally World that a lot of people rave about. And your <laughs> it's falling apart. It's a little plastic, what it is. It's um, not that the weight matters, it's a pound and a half. The seal, it, it, it seals on the inside of the vacuum chamber, not the outside. And you got it, and, and, and it's, it's plastic and... It will do the job. It, it's fair. It's sufficient. It does an okay job at what it's advertised to do. It does vacuum seal bags, and it does do a good job. Now, I happen to use... Ah, They're right there next to the marker. My main... product that I use is a 50 foot roll. This happens to be 12 inch. I do have some 8 inch rolls. Right. Right. This in fact would be like an 8 inch roll, but it's an 8 inch bag. I'll get to that in a second. These, this is how much I don't like the food saver. I've had this food saver for what, like two years? I don't. Know. And I still have the original bags that came with it. Like the package from Wally World comes with like their own bags, right? But right. I use rolls. It's more economic, you get to cut to your length. So, this is what I cut off of a 12 inch roll. It's actually long because it's a leftover back, leftover piece that I had cut, right? I would have cut this smaller right. about here to save it and seal it, right? I save like two inches of bag. Right. Okay. This is an eight inch food saver bag. If you look into there, you can actually see just in front of these delicious grass-fed ribeyes that it says food saver there right but look at that seal the original bag has this huge three-eighths inch maybe got almost almost a half inch seal right the food saver seals a micro of that the food saver seals like three sixteenths of an inch Okay. Look at it on a ruler. Three sixteenths versus what they what they give you. So they give you a bag with a great seal on it, and then make you side. seal on one side the the pre made bag, and then you seal it with a three sixteenths seal that almost doesn't get through the moisture. Plus, you waste. Right, this is pre cut. I didn't right. cut this. This is you wasted. Once again, you know you need you need some, so you wasted at least two two and a half inches of stuff. Same thing. This was my. Smoked chicken breast that we did a couple days ago? Turkey. Turkey. Sorry, turkey breast. And this was our roast chicken breast, and I used this That's as an example. Too. Look, I said chicken again. <laughs> turkey from Thanksgiving. <laughs> but you see how much we wasted by using the pre-made bag. Great seal on one end, wasted product. The difference between Food Saver and this big old Weston... Besides like 13 pounds, right? This thing, <laughs> this thing weighs like 22 pounds. You turn it on. It automatically has a cooling fan. The cooling fan is not for the heat strip. The cooling fan is for the vacuum pump that's inside. On this one, you can see your vacuum chamber is inside the seal. You waste less bag. On the food saver, it's the other way around. You have to put the bag on the inside. All I need to do is overlap just enough of that inside to 
to seal. Right? And you know what we're going to do? We're just going to flip this down and do this smoked turkey breast just to do it. It's going to get loud, but watch the massive vacuum this guy pulls on here. There's food saver quality. There's Weston quality. You hear it? There's the extra seal to boost the seal. Yep. Release. Ta-da! Um, a little less than double of the seal of the food saver, but it is an absolute thicker and solid ass seal, and there is zero... Th th this, this vacuum seal bag is folded over. That's what you'll see on a cryovac packs when you get stuff from your... Um, Places like Butcher Box and uh, Schwann's and those places. Right. If, if it folds over, you know that's a big ass seal. I'm just going to do a couple more, right? We're going to sous vide these steaks tomorrow. A lot of noise. The fan is to pull the vacuum pump. The vacuum pump that pulls the vacuum on the food, there's a small one in here. The one that's in here needs a freaking fan because it pulls so much better of a vacuum. And you could have put that seal way down even further. I could have, but I waste, would have right. wasted. I wanted to show the waste in the bag. Right. You can look. That's sealed through the moisture. Right. Because you can see the moisture. I don't know if you can the, see the, it. That camera's not camera. going to show it at that focus. But there's moisture I can here. See it from you can see it from there. You'll see it better if I hold the light right there. There's moisture here, and that's sealed through it. Right. I even dried the steaks a little, but I didn't dry them all the way because I wanted to show that moisture pulling through. Right. That'll freeze in a freezer for a year. But we're cooking it tomorrow. But that's, we're cooking. We're cooking tomorrow. tomorrow. Roast turkey breast, once again. Same thing. A food saver bag versus... Food saver bag. <laughs> Waste of time. You'll literally see that pull it right towards the machine. so much because it's a short but a long bag. I'm pulling the moisture in this huge bag all the way up to here even though that's already cooked, right? It even did pull some tiny, tiny, tiny little bit up through. Right. I don't know if you can see it very good. You can't, but that bag is sealed like a monster. You will never, ever, ever get this. I have launched perfectly working food saver bags because they literally wasted this much bag every time because of the way you have to lift it up and hold it and get that to, to, to vacuum and seal on the inside. This one, the vacuum is here, the vacuum is at the top, and the seal is lower. On the food saver, it's opposite. You have to get this much bag in just to seal on the inside. The design literally wastes an inch of bag every seal. Not the first seal of the roll, but every seal of the full bag. That's a double thumbs down on buy more food saver bags. Right. Weston makes bags too. Guess what? I buy generic bags in a roll. It's that one. It's a monster. And like I said, if this wasn't already cut from another job earlier, I would have cut an inch less off of it. Right. And I would have been here. My seal would have been here, but the Weston is a monster. It has its own fan to cool the vacuum pump. It pulls a tremendous amount of vacuum, twice as much vacuum, if not more than the food saver. Yay, it doesn't have a little port to pull a vacuum on your little lids. How many of you have vacuum lids and how, how many of them work? <laughs> $80. More than eighty dollars. Four hundred plus dollars. It fits the budget. It does its job. This does the job better. Always pulls the vacuum. Waste less product. Will I ever get my money's worth out of this? If I'm only counting the the six cents of bag that I wasted. 
Never. If I count the stuff in the freezer that doesn't get all the way sealed, 16 bucks, three bucks, three bucks, and I'm not worried about dropping those, right, because they're sealed that hard. <laughs> I, I literally did that on purpose, right? Then it can add up in a season, maybe two. Just throwing that out there. Not telling you to buy the Weston. Buy the Weston. We're out? Oh, no. Oh. This is brought to you by a brand new hashtag. If you haven't seen it on my on my re-engineered shirt, hashtag Fugs, because if you know, you know. And we're out. Hashtag Fugs. Fugs, if you know, you know. We're out. Out.